Hey, it's Doug from Rise Bug Performance Training. And with Kettlebell Kings, we're gonna continue our hard style tutorial. Today, we're gonna to go over the cleans. Now, hard style versus sport or competition style is a little bit different. Hard style is a little more foundational, more strength-based, more tension-based. Where the sport style is a little more endurance-based, trying to get the most reps you can in a certain amount of time. So we're gonna focus on the foundational, strength, more tension style clean. Now, the good news about the clean we already have two components that we need to complete a clean. And a clean is basically bringing the bell from a swing into the rack position. From the rack position, you can do many things. You can press, you can jerk, you can push press, you can squat, lunge, you can rest, you can do another clean. So the clean is a great transitional exercise to do within your training. Now, we need a swing and we need a proper rack position. We went over the proper rack position in the squat series and we went over the swing and obviously the swing series so you can go check out those videos that I have up with kettlebell kings to refresh your memory on how to do those so I'll show a proper clean and then we'll break it down on how to do it so I have my kettlebell king kettlebell here and what I'm going to do with the clean is I'm going to hike the bell through bring it up and land right into that rack position so I'm going to hike through right into the rack position. I'm gonna drop, hike through, and back to the rack, and set it down. Now, one of the reasons why the clean is a little more difficult is because of where the arm is sits. So, in the swing, we were taught to release the bicep from the body with the retracted shoulder, but getting it away from the body. Now in the clean, we don't want to do this because if we were to do this, and I'll show this with a lighter belt, it's a nice uh, Kettlebell King Cerakoted finish here, I like it. So if I were to extend the arm in a one-arm swing and then clean it from here, it's going to bang, knock me around, and it's going to hurt after a few reps, and we don't want that. We want to be as smooth as possible. So we have to train our brain to think a little bit, little bit differently about the clean and the way the arm's positioned. What I like to visualize is when I clean, there's a screw going right through my elbow and bolted to the side of my body where it doesn't allow the arm to move. I'm gonna do a little retraction and then slide it up into the rack position. So my upper arm never leaves the side of my body when I'm pulling in. I still have a good backswing. I still generate power from my hips, but it doesn't leave. So fo let's focus on the arm here and in. And notice that my elbow is staying close to my side. Now to train that, we're gonna do a swing where we swing and just do a little bit of a retraction with the shoulder blade. So I'm gonna do a little mini swing and a little mini pull here. So not a full clean, I'm just gonna bring it up. So you can see I'm retracting, finishing my hip and pulling up. So my arm never leaves my side. I'm just kind of keeping it close from there. Next, what we can work on is the guided clean. This is my favorite clean. So we're gonna start from the swing. I'm gonna keep that pull and elbow close in the back of my mind. However, I'm gonna use my hand to guide the bell up into position. So my free hand, is gonna physically guide it into position. So I'll set it down again, hike through, use my hand, guide it in position. As I get better, I can slowly start taking how much that hand helps me out, out of the way until I have a good clean. The other part of the clean that's tough is the drop or the re-clean. Since we're here, we don't want to do two things. Again, we're keeping that in mind where we're not letting the arm get away from the body or casting the bell. Again, I'll go with the lighter one. So if I were to cast the bell, it's going to pull me forward and pull my back and I probably won't get a good reclaim. It's going to wrench my shoulder. So I have to keep this close. I alluded to spilling a cup of water. I'm just going to spill the bell and as you can see, I'm going to kind of unfold it and it wants to go into that backswing. Now I don't have a big arc as if, as in a uh, one arm swing or a snatch, so I have to give it a little bit of a push. 
So as I spill, I push through and back up. So I spill, have to give it a little bit of a push to go through and then back up. And there you have the clean. So let's go over one more time how it looks properly. I'm going to go through here, lock down, hike through, bring it up, and in. Lastly, we want to make sure we get the hand to slide through the handle. If I were to grip the handle too tight, and this will happen in the beginning, it'll bang a little bit. Even if I do the clean well, it'll still bang a lot. So what I want to do is as I'm coming up, I want to cut the corner. So when the bell's here, I'm going to slide the hand through. So I just say slide the hand along your rib cage or throw an uppercut to get it started and slide the hand through. So I'm going to pull through and up. This is where the guided clean comes to help too, because I can push the bell down and slide my hand through at the top. I'm sliding and in, and not banging the wrist. So when you do it right, I tell people it's a quiet clean, it's not a bang. So when you do it right, it should be nice and smooth. And in. So there you have the single arm clean. And of course, you can do the two kettlebell or double clean version. With the cast irons, they're a little bit smaller. You can do palm back. You may have to turn the handles a little bit. Um, it's hard to go straight on because you might knock your knees and get you out of position. Um, also, this is done more in kettlebell sport, but thumbs forward because the bells are so big, it's hard to clear the knees in the backswing, so they go thumb forward a little bit. I noticed with the thumb forward, um, you don't get quite as big a backswing because you just don't have that extra rotation. You can push the bells back. So try them out for yourself and see which one you like. I'll demonstrate a few of both. So this will do the palms back version. I'll turn the handles down in a little bit just to clear my knees. Set it down safely. Then I'll do a couple of thumb forward version. I can bring my feet in a little bit because it's a little narrower here. And down. So there you have it, the hard style clean. Thanks for checking out the video. If you want more, check about the check out the Rise Above channel. Also check out Kettlebell King's video channel and also their great kettlebells like this one and the Cerakote one. They make some great products. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.